the two teachers. Welcome to Check Mix, where you can check your understanding by mixing the essential words of American government politics. Here are today's words. Pluralism, not to be confused with elitism. In a pluralist society, not one group, not the best and the brightest, but a competition of groups vie for power and a voice in the political process. Ah, Electoral College, the official way we elect the President of the United States. This is an indirect election where the state popular vote determines the outcome of electoral votes. You must win at least 270, a majority of electoral votes, to win. How do they mix? Say no better example of pluralism than looking at the Electoral College. Andy, state by state, these national campaigns go, and there's a variety of interests, a competitive interest in each state, a faction that might be prominent in California, not prominent in Alabama. Pluralism. Remember your Federalist 10, the idea that different groups have to work together in a large republic. No better example of winning those big swing states like Ohio and Florida of bringing those pluralist groups together in order to win a majority of electoral votes. Ironically, the Electoral College might have been seen as elitist when it was first formed. Who would have thought that it would have survived through the democratization of the American political process? Because today, the Electoral College clearly represents pluralism and not elitism. Pluralism. Electoral College. Check, Check mix. mix. No fancy words. No fancy suits. Plain talk about issues you need to know. Just in time. <laughs>